Hello and welcome to another episode of Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we analyze the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin. I have my co-anchors with me. I'm not sure they're very interesting this morning, but Ife Omai wow. and Ife Oluwa uh, Oshenke. It's good, it's good. Hello. Okay. She's com they're coming to their vibe. No, we, we don't have a choice on the light camera. <laughs> yeah, action. action. Okay, so you're back to yeah. interesting. Mm. Okay, cool. So Cardi B is among many people who are against Georgia Governor Brian Kemp's decision to reopen non-essential businesses in the state, despite 21,000 confirmed cases of COVID-19 and over 800 reported deaths in Georgia. She ended her Instagram post with a strong message saying health over capitalism. And maybe I should also mention that Trump is also not in support. So <laughs> that's an interesting one. Very interesting one. Mm -hmm. um, I've, I've been very impressed by Cardi B. Cardi B. She started off, I guess you can say, lack of articulation with that video. And people went crazy on her because, you know, that video didn't really make much sense. But since then, first of all, the, um, the, re the reply to that backlash and every since then really has just been phenomenal i think maybe we didn't get what she was saying in yeah, that live it was a live video and it's possible she was taking out of context yeah, based well, on I cutting mean, from here to here and i, I, get, thought I was on, know, i was on that live but i think she was just in a lot oh I, you were there for a yeah, long time yeah okay, what, cool. yeah <laughs> I was jobless. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it was. She and I think she was also very loose. Like she wasn't trying to be. She didn't think that people would use that as a way of her sending a message. You know, when you're talking to someone and you're trying to like send a message, it's very different from when I'm just chatting with you. Like I can jabber and just say things that are you know and a I bit just loose. Expect you to get it. Yeah. So I'm happy that you know she's 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 been asking a lot of questions that have been on people's minds and been speaking a lot on um on. She's been speaking in a way that makes me really believe that she cares about people and cares about lives and sometimes i feel like in this situation governments and s politicians and capitalist um will i say um advantage people get advantage from um, get benefits from capitalism people like that are not really focusing on humans so i think it's a nice thing mm -hmm. to see someone in power you know spreading that type of message um i get it to be honest with you i get that in this situation, we have to look at economy. I know that, yes, human lives are very important, but there is a way that the world works, and, and that seems to be also be crashing. So sometimes I don't want people to be too quick to bash these governors and so presidents. So are you in support of reopening the business? No, I'm not, but I think okay. I understand where he's, where coming, he's coming from. from. And okay. I think it is necessary that very soon, before the vaccine and before any other type of stuff, we need to start really focusing on how we can get the economy working. If not, we will have our lives and not have a life. Mm. So, I don't know. Okay. I think, um, I, I, in as much as I want to get where the governor is coming from, I think for the safety of everyone, it's too soon to reopen businesses, especially when the vaccine is not out yet. And especially when the virus seems to be getting worse by the day. Do you understand? More people keep dying. So it's not like the deaths being reported in Georgia has dropped by any level because I tried to check that. So their death rate is still going up and you're trying to reopen businesses. No, I think it's because for where you're sitting, you're not the governor, and the only thing that you're concerned about is people's lives, which is true, it's important. But for, for some others, like, even An if you talk to... economy without even people, you, what would you do with well, it? Well, and uh, people without economy as well. Think about it's, NGOs and stuff. Okay. When they have a conversation with you, they're not just talking as about... As long as there's life, there's well, hope. We can always get our economy back. business owners in Georgia have come out to say, to say they exactly. are not Of course. Yes, and and not. to be honest with you, my argument isn't necessarily about Georgia now. I'm just... I, I, I I've just been around a lot of people who their prim primary issue is not just COVID-19. There's a lot of people who need the lockdown to go um, um, to be released or undone or whatever for a lot of other reasons that are just as important. That's my that's my thought. Yeah, just so I'm just saying that let's have to think about there is that. No, there is no economy without the people. So if you open yes, up and we all die and it's over, I mean, who is well, going to have gonna the economy? Enjoy the economy? So I understand the whole... Still not, we, the economy, I mean, we are even in this part of the world, we are the worst receiving end, right? Yeah. But... At the end of the day, we still need to consider our health because if there is no wealth without health, that mm -hmm. it, it just it just takes the front burner right now. Of course, mm -hmm. yeah. And then the other thing is that people also feel like I mean the non-essential businesses that are getting open, like the barber shop. Now those are businesses that you have to have contact with your clients. Mm. Do you understand? If it's businesses that you can still maintain social distancing, like maybe um, out, what type of business now? Maybe you want um, internet subscription or something, and then I know you 
don't really have to get so close to me. You can I can speak to you from a mile away and you still understand and get your work done. But you're talking about the nail shop, the barber shop, the hairdressers. I, I, I don't think so. Even with the nail shop before COVID nineteen, if you go to a proper nail shop, they're supposed to sanitize their hands, wear a mask, and before even doing your nails. So mm. there are procedures already in place that because would. Well, what if what I sanitize? I, I what like, if it happens? I sanitize be... my hand and then I pick up uh, um, an equipment that that. Is that has the virus on well, it? Mm -hmm. Are you supposed to virus. touch your face I'm just with saying, the equipment? I'm going to be touching somebody else's face. Ha, no, we're talking of pedicure nails. I'm talking about Baba. That's the one that concerns. Well, even me. then, there's still <laughs> ways, and I, I think that, that okay. that's something that the government is also looking at because the coronavirus is still going to be in our midst, even when we let things yeah. go. Yeah. So there's at some point you're going to have to learn how to live life. Yeah, put in, in a way that 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 yeah, like you're trying to fight um get, catching the virus. So but I just think it's too soon. Of it's course, way, agreed. Way if it's Georgia, yes, yeah, too soon. Too soon. Agreed. Okay, agreed. Moving on, Ghanaian actor Prince David Ose has advised his followers to guard their hearts against jealousy and envy. He was quoted to have said that everyone was uniquely created by God, stressing that all fingers are not equal because God created some people short, tall, fat, slim, rich, and others poor. He further said jealousy kills faster than corona disease. Mikhail Dodba. Mm -hmm. I think that's just the, that's how to say it in my language, <laughs> like, mm -hmm. and, um, but at the end of the day, this is, um, stating the obvious, because we all know that jealousy is something you shouldn't compare yourself with anyone at all, and that's the key to happiness in life in itself, um, because if the moment you start comparing, oh, this person has this, I don't have that, this person, has, that's like, it ends up eating you up, not even yeah, the person you're not even the of. person, yeah. and then it makes you do things too, because some people let the jealousy take control of the, of them that they begin to try to sabotage that person but some people are filled with grace no matter how much you try to sabotage them Preach grace it, <laughs> <laughs> grace would still outshine your jealousy mm. would still do you understand so i think the best thing is just live your best life the little way you can do you understand be like, genuinely happy for yeah, people genuine, when yeah. they succeed i like the way you said that um not allowing it to take that some people allow it to take over because i think jealousy is something that every single person is going to feel mm. i think it's a natural um it, like a human thing but the difference is how you interact with it and how you um put limits to that mm. jealousy i think sometimes jealousy for me in, the way it works in my life sometimes is that it's a it's, it's a way to tell me if, if i'm like yes or sometimes if i'm lacking something like if i say ah this person like okay for example maybe with timing i struggle a lot with timing and if i see someone is doing that really well i'm like it I guess you can call it jealousy, but I'm like, oh, I need to be able to do this because this girl can or this person can do that. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll say that as mine. But another thing I want to say, a lot of the times when I see people who think that someone is being je um, um, like this person is suffering from jealousy for me, it's always wrong. I think sometimes people are really narcissistic and have serious problems and think that that person is just jealous of me. And that's, most of the time it's not true. Sometimes you just have an issue. And no one is jealous, but just really focusing on the fact that you're hard to deal with. So things like that. Um, it's very good to have like have the type of balance and understand before you quickly jump on to say that somebody else is jealous. For me, except you're the one saying that I've been jealous, I never really take seriously when somebody says so someone else says they're jealous of me because um it's too one-sided and i don't know if you have the capacity and even speaking for myself now have the capacity to see genuinely the person's intention and situation so until i'm the one saying that ah, i was once jealous of this my my boyfriend's ex so i was talking how you know when it comes out like that then i can really start to listen but other than that like i don't trust humans to really be able to tell me that somebody else was jealous and i that's understand the idea of balance it is very important because we've always said that you have to be able to sit down and yourself to be mm. sure that you're not a problem however if i'm looking at it from this story at least the one we are discussing we know there are people who um falls on this category mm. we also know that we've seen stories and we've read stories and you know that this can only happen out of jealousy i don't know if you saw the story that trended i think two days ago of someone who sent an email to um, um, the boss of his friend and got the person fired. And basically, he came out to say it's basically jealousy. Of course, when all those things was happening, the victim did not know what was going on. The victim was just wondering, how is my life turning um, this way? Who is sending these lies to my Certainly boss? Milk. Tell us that story. Oh, you did see it. Okay, so um, I don't know how to, how do I break this down now. It's a long thread, but okay. So the this guy in question, so let me use Ife Omai, for example. So you know some 
someone who is in need of help and you help this person and bring the person into your place and then you also get the person a job where you work right. so because you got promoted this person decides to send an anonymous email to your boss telling your person boss you helped. yes telling your boss you did this, you did that, and a lot of things that would bring down the company. And of course, your boss believed it and sacked this person. Right. So um, uh, you had so to sack the helper. Yes. No, no, it's sack the yeah, boss yeah, sacked yeah, the yeah, helper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So after I think after about two, three years or thereabouts, the other guy was now having issues. So according to him, when that thing happened, he still went. She, like she still went back to her friend to cry and say, "God, see what has happened to me. Whoever right. did this to me, and laid curses with tears." And the friend was also there saying, "Oh, Bene. sorry, you will be fine." So and now the friend is saying that Amen. he is having issues that nothing is going on well with him and he went to a pastor and the pastor said somebody cursed him with tears so he can remember he's a guy so not lady so that's it. he can remember what he did so he came back to the guy's inbox to confess and say this is what i did and all that and he shared it to say he's happy he's being vindicated because a lot of people did not believe him that he didn't do all that including his boss at the time oh, wow. so i mean there are stories that have happened that you know that there's but something the called acute yeah. you know acute jealousy that that people need to watch yeah. so um you need to learn to balance it don't let mm. it overcome you like if what you has said because it's when it overcomes you and start driving your actions that there's really a problem. Yeah, and it's yeah. very easy for it to become evil really quickly. Yeah. Like that for me is now on like of steroids. Course. Like we're talking you know, that's like the, that's, witchcraft. That's the one I'm saying that you now try stuff. to start sabotaging mm -hmm. yeah. the other person and all right. of that. Like yeah. no, that's that's the wrong type of jealousy. And but there are two types of jealousy, like you pointed yeah. out: the one that hits you up inside, and the one that mototivates you to mm. be better and to match up. Mm. Do you understand? And the one that motivates you to be evil. Hmm. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the... <laughs> okay, let's go on a very quick break, but when we come back, we definitely have more to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dull, everybody feeling all right. Bye. That was how they look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Akpala music is for mature-minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? <laughs> 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 Comedian A.Y. Marco speaks on challenges celebrities face when giving to charity. He says one of the major problems is that people lace good thoughts with insults to the detriment of the giver. His message read in part, quote, When celebrities give to people in need without letting you know anything about it, you say to them, All you yaya yeah, Britis are busy posting pictures of your houses when your mates are doing a lot to help people who are hungry out there. When we respond by letting you know how we have been doing a whole lot to help, some of you ask for proofs by saying please don't come here and tell us how you've been helping people with what we can't see or confirm when we now give and let you in our business you come to us again and call it show off celebrities still quotes. don't get it i swear they still <laughs> honestly <laughs> what well, are you saying yeah. what he's saying is not no, the truth look ah. if, look okay see there's, there's levels to it right okay now first of all we're not saying you don't do good mm -hmm. you know where i have a problem with mm. When you are the one filming and you post it, that's my number one problem. I think you should mm. let other people post it. No, because it would always leak. You understand? There was a time David Doe was in the airport and he gave some money to some people. He didn't film that. Do you understand? He didn't post it himself. Okay, we, I was I thought, at first I thought we were going to agree. <laughs> um, I see, no, see it in the same in the same light. I think this is a very flimsy problem to have because humans have that as well. So it's not enough for a reason to say the problems of celebrities. Maybe he's, I don't know. I don't know. It just itched me the wrong way. It's not an issue. That's human life. You can't please everyone. No, it's not just, a problem to celebrities. Levels. I don't care if you post it yourself. You record it. You do whatever. I don't really care about that. I, I think Tokumbo was somebody that was always on this stance, on this table, about um, having an issue with people coming out to say that they've given. Um, I completely disagree with it. I think if I give, I have a right to tell whoever and wh what 
In fact, yeah. I can say it on top of the mountain that I have done that because I do that with other things. No, that's if wrong. If you're a celebrity, that's very wrong. This is my opinion. Spiritually, uh -uh. Okay, hope religiously, let him finish. morally, absolutely. That's him. Wrong. Sorry, let her finish. That's just me. <laughs> There's some things that I feel like are a bit more sensitive, especially if, if it's demeaning the other person that you are giving. So I give this person clothes. I give. I fed this person's family. Then maybe that's a bit like you know, if it's now personal and it's a face to the giver then I can say, yeah, you're showing off, you're making somebody else feel bad. But there is something really important about sharing kindness. I think it's super um, contagious. And that's why I always support that you give, especially as a celebrity. Your, your, the fact that you're a celebrity means that your business is your your life is my business whatever life you want to show me that's up to you but your life is my business and that's how you make money there's no way you want to show you all of a sudden you want to tell me that i should be interested in who you date what you wear where you go but i shouldn't be interested in the goodness that you've done when not everyone does that and i think it's important for, that you share that that's just my opinion all right so, so sorry, back before to, you um, yeah. go on um i don't think his argument is about showing or not displaying no, for I'm, IUI. I'm, i think what he is trying to say from what i understand is that you can't satisfy we, we, everyone. That's one. You yeah. can't satisfy every, everyone. Humans are, are insatiable. Mm -hmm. That's one. Mm -hmm. And secondly, I think we, de 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 we demand a lot of accountability and... Um, we just demand so much from these celebrities exactly that I mean, why they, should be they are human beings. Mm. So if a celebrity decides to do A and not do B, what even gives you the right to say, oh, because you are a celebrity, blah, blah, Thank blah, you. Fine. No, he he put saying. out a music or comedy and he decided to consume it. He did not come to you to force it down your throat. Oh, he did. He, no. did no, no, no. he paid for marketing. No. Yeah, mm -mm. Let's, he paid let's for not, marketing. Let's not so pretend when he like paid for marketing, no, did the marketer say, their business. if you don't get on YouTube to watch AY, you will die? Was that in the marketing? That's such a like every but the there is no there is no, no, there is no entertainment. No, no, no. There is no sector that does not engage that, in marketing. Exactly. So if you exactly. feel so if you feel that it's their marketing to is them a problem, that in their business, it's not, I'm not, I don't have a problem with it. But it's also important to me that people are watching me at home. But, but so yes, we are important to everybody at all points in time. So they don't owe you anything. So what's the problem? But you don't consume everybody. No, I don't. Yeah. Exactly. So what's the problem with marketing? Like I don't understand. So I am basically saying that I understand what he's saying 100 percent there is nothing you do that would satisfy people but however i would say to him and other celebrities to just do things from their hearts as long as they feel good about it and it is what should i say god has put in their hearts to do and they can all afford right. it then they should do it and just shut out all these um talks because yeah. i believe that it is not the same set of people that's complaining about a that complain about b no, and complain said, about c yeah. do you understand so they should just focus on what they want to do and please focus on also on people that are telling you you are doing a good job not always of people help. that Thank are telling you. you oh what are you doing why is it one comment out of a thousand that you want to focus on and then make that a 20 big million comments out of 20 million and it's all negative as long as you feel good about what you're doing that's the, that's most, the most important, important thing. thing and you know that you have actually impacted the life he's right. and what he said is what is and going on you know it is what is that's why i said there's levels to it number one people would have a problem with it if you're the one posting it right and they would that's when they would say that oh yeah, yeah, yeah so i post you're i post when i'm chilling but in they the can car. post can, it if they want no, exactly. no, no, what if i want I, to post well, it well i'm saying that those are the ways to avoid people from talking if you people really have talking. a problem exactly. if, uh, if, if you really have a problem it, with people talking and you feel that okay the talking is the reason why i don't do just it just tell him to block it out right of his mouth. Ah. exactly talk. then the yes. second part when i said this level the second part is are you doing this for clout or are you actually doing it to help somebody if you're doing it to help somebody regardless of what people say let him talk yeah do you basically. understand you know what you're doing it for you know i'm actually do and doing it to you impact money. life it's, you rendered it that's service. the most that simple. then the third one is the fact you that want to share, what you you rightly said and you emphasized on a lot and i like that is that you people are insatiable. There's nothing you would do if you do exactly. the good one. They will talk. If you do the bad one, they will talk. That's so a human it's problem, all about not you. A celebrity problem. Yeah, it's all about you, and it's all about the deed at the end of the day. So I think the three stages: don't post it. Secondly, block out people. Thirdly, make sure you're impacting somebody and know that it's not for clout. As long as you have vindicated within yourself that this is not for clout, this is for a good cause. The idea that, that I'm supposed to keep quiet and be modest is a bit fake to me. That sometimes I really want people to know that, oh, you can do this. So, a, a lot of people who give. The Bible says if the right hand gives, the left hand shouldn't even know about it. Ah, okay.
Um, so me, Shao, me, in my own hand, <laughs> if I want people to know what my left hand is doing so that, so that they can help, a lot of the times, um, maybe because I'm also very involved in NGOs, a lot of the times we need help and we want people to see how you can help. So if I show you my left hand, I want you to copy it on the right hand as well so that the cycle um, follows. There is something about this, this idea that every celebrity should do what you like, do what you like. I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to say that because I think that there's a lot of PR and making sure that everything that you do, because it's more to given to you, unfortunately, that needs to be put in place. You can't just go by your emotions. But I, I have to agree to a certain extent that, you know, at the end of the day, it's about you and your intentions. If your intentions are pure, it would reflect, it would show. Um, and, and putting discretion in everything is important. If you're going to give out, give. If you're not going to say it, don't say it. But you can't please everyone, like you both have said. And I think it's okay if you do either or. Yeah, so just do what um, makes you comfortable, that makes you sleep well at night. Mm. And also, um, whether you want to post or not, I think the only thing I'm taking away from this table regarding posting is making sure that it doesn't demean the next, demean, is it demean? Demean. demean the next person because that's that's one of the things I see and I feel like, why would you give somebody one pack of noodles and then make the person take a picture with it, you know, something like that. Like, yeah. There is a like way to take the shots million. and yeah. take the pictures and not necessarily show us yeah. who this person is. So please do whatever you want to do, display as much, but please lend a helping hand because we all need it right now. And that's how we wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching and join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time or Twitter to us at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. Also, catch up with this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. Thank you, as always, we go to my co-anchors, Ife Oluwa Oshukaye and Ife Omai and the entire production team. Thank you for watching. Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Do stay home and stay safe.